Today we're talking about lettering on a chalkboard. The first thing you need to do is season your surface and the way to do that is to take a piece of chalk on its side and just rub it all over the surface. I know that seems to counter what you think about writing on a blackboard, but it really prepares the surface to take the lettering much better. Then you'll just take a paper towel or a cloth and rub it all in. This is the same process that I used for preparing my chalkboard wall. When I do my chalk lettering, I just use regular craft chalk. The trick is to sharpen the tip so that I can write with it easily. I keep a pencil sharpener just for the chalk. I'm starting with my focal point words and I'm using a faux brush calligraphy. Once I lay down the layout that I like, then I'll go back over and darken the downstrokes and connect any ascenders and descenders or flourishes that I want to do. My chalk lettering rarely comes out the way I want it to the very first time. Sometimes it takes three, four, or five times to get the layout that I'm looking for. I'll just erase and keep working it until I get the layout that I like. And since I'm working in different sections, I can leave the portion that I'm already satisfied with alone. I finally settled on a serif style print.
Now that I have my lettering the way I want it, it's time to clean things up. The way I do this is to use a Q-tip dipped in a little bit of water to clean up edges and add a drop shadow behind the lettering. I love the dimension that this adds, and it's something that you wouldn't be able to accomplish if you didn't properly season your chalkboard. Next, I go back in and add any doodles that I want to finish the piece. Here I'm adding those rice grain leaves that I like. I also use that same green chalk to add highlights to this focal point word. color, I'm just going to sketch in a little border around the whole piece. just to add some interest to this negative space here. Chalkboard lettering is all about experimenting. Don't be afraid to try new things.
For more information on this technique and more posts in the Love Your Lettering series, visit creatively.com slash loveyourlettering2.